Sally bonjour and welcome back to another Justice video. Really excited to do this video for you guys today. Are there any differences between disc golf runs? We hear it all the time. You buy discs after you've lost one and it doesn't always feel the same. It might have a bit of a different flex to it and it doesn't always fly the same or at least that's what we hear. So today we really want to test that with one disc made in three different years, the T-Bird. We want to see does it have the same feel, same flight and really the same results. So let's get into it. Now, if you don't know what a disc golf run is, it's basically the way disc golf manufacturers produce their discs. When they want to produce a bunch of T-Birds, for instance, they grab a bunch of pellets, they put them in the machine, they heat them up, and then they cool them, and they do it in batches. So depending on the pellets that are used and the consistency of those pellets, as well as the climate and the conditions in the air when the disc cools, the discs may differ just a little bit from previous batches. At least that's what we here. So that's what we're going to test out today. And today I have three different T-Birds. This one is about two years old. This one is about one year old. And this one was purchased this year. First, we're just going to take a little bit of a test on the feel and the flexibility. And then we're going to test them on this hole at the Justice nine hole course. Hole two is 252 feet. And then we're going to test it on the 282 foot par three. So by the end of this video, we really want to be able to tell you if this is something you should be concerned concerned about. Do they differ in feel, flexibility, and flight? Let's find out. All right, so let's look at the first disc. This one is about two years old. This T-Bird is definitely more of a firmer run. You can feel it. I actually got my dad to compare the three as well, and he was saying that this one was the stiffest, and that can be a good thing for some, maybe not for others. I don't like the stiffness of this one. I would like it to have just a little bit more flex, even though it is a more of an overstable disc. Let's look at the next one. Taking a look at this orange one, this one was one that I purchased last year. I've used it a little bit for practice, but it definitely has more grippiness to it like you can get a little bit more grip a little bit more flexibility and I don't know if this is just mainly an innova thing I know a lot of people complain about them not being as consistent maybe they just produce a ton more discs compared to others but uh, there's definitely a difference in the feel and the flexibility but let's look at the third disc now this one I actually purchased this year and as soon as I got it, I said, what the heck is this? There was such a difference between the teal compared to the yellow and the orange. And it's almost like year after year, the closer it got to my most recent purchase, the more flexible and the more grippy these discs have become. I don't know if they've changed the plastic to try and match that of Castaplast, for instance, but I love the feel of this new run. It has great flexibility. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem though for some of my forehands. We're gonna have to wait and see but it has really good feel. The plastic feels incredible. It really trumps those other two T-Birds. So there's something to say about the flexibility and the feel between different runs. But now let's check out how they fly. All right, let's give the oldest one a try. Give the plastic, here we go. Really gonna try and keep the flight the same every single time. Now obviously can't always be the same throw every single time, but we'll try and get it as close as we can. Okay, beautiful. So that was parked. That was a nice one. Oh yeah. Ooh. That was a nice one. Oh yeah. Ooh. There you can see, yeah, you know, might be a little bit more overstable, which would make sense considering it's stiffer. Oh, that was bad. A little flick there. Yeah, not so good on that one. Yeah, that one's definitely all over stable. Can I ace it? <laughs> Beauty. Can I throw? That one has put a little, a little more straight into it. Not as much fade. Ooh. A little wobble. 
level, but still a good throw. Now let's go with the teal. Oh, that one was yanked a bit. Still though, good old stability. Park right beside the yellow. It's the one that feels the best, but may not fly the best. Oh yeah, look at that. Definitely in this heat, it almost basically had no, almost no stability, no fight back. All right, so now we're gonna try some backhands. We're gonna release them on a slight Anheuser, all three of them. It is my most comfortable way of throwing backhands, so I will be the most consistent that way. And we're gonna be able to really tell on this type of shot if that stiffness compared to the real flexible disc, the green one, is gonna really make a difference in flight or not. So let's check it out. That's nice. I like that one. I mean, there's something to be said about a disc being nice and firm. You can really put enough into it and not be so worried to lose it too much to the right. That's nice. I like that one. does have a really beautiful flight. That was a better flex. Nice low line piercing. Still put flex, but didn't take it as much. There you have it. Nice. It doesn't have as much turn as I wanted. Not bad. Now that one I didn't get enough flex in, so it's going to be fading out a little early. Okay, still pretty good though. Nose down, but it's fighting out. Yeah, still pretty good. Ooh, a little wild. And yeah, it just doesn't want, okay, it's fighting back, but not as, not as strong as you can see. Get out of there. Pretty nice. That's a nice one. See the fight back? Okay. It's just not as strong. That's what I'm noticing. The fight back of the more flexible disc. Flex. It just doesn't have that over stability to kick back as quick. Yeah, it just, just doesn't have the same flight. Man. Pretty good, nice little flex. Fighting out, decent. All right, so after testing all three T-Bird runs from different years, we gotta make some conclusions. So we threw them backhand and forehand and on different days just to make sure. We can honestly say that the difference between runs is quite substantial. You know, for the longest time, I always heard about people talking about the difference between runs and if you find one that you like, you gotta buy them up, get a whole bunch because it may not be the same consistency. And honestly, from this example, at least with the T-Birds, there is definitely a difference. So it's something you may wanna pay attention to. So what was actually different about these three discs? Well, from each year, the plastic definitely changed. And it changed from being firm to less firm. So the yellow one actually was the stiffest and had the least amount of grip, whereas the orange one was a little bit softer, a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more grip. And then the teal had really maximum grip 
and maximum flexibility. Now it's important to note that these discs all fly like T-Birds. You're really still getting a T-Bird if you would have purchased any of these discs. However, the level of grip and flexibility, meaning how beaten in the disc is gonna feel already, is gonna differ between the batches. And another thing we noticed after the fact was that the nose angles between the three discs were different. And we recently did a video on this, and usually the higher the nose angle, the more stable the disc will be. So we figured we'd include it. When I was using the teal compared to the yellow and the orange, I found that it was hard to time my release. And honestly, I don't think that this teal is a bad batch of T-Birds. I think it's just something that I really just wasn't used to how it felt coming off the hand. So as you probably saw, I was a little bit more wild with how I was releasing this teal T-Bird. And it could just be something that I need to get used to. Now, one thing we didn't mention at the beginning of the video is that I actually have been using a similar run of T-Bird for the last two years. So I'm actually more used to, more comfortable with the firmer type of T-Bird. And that's probably why I didn't throw this disc too bad at all. It was, might have been even my best performing disc with then the orange being second, then followed by the teal. So in the end, are most people gonna notice? Are most people gonna care? I would say no. Most disc golfers are just recreational disc golfers. They just love to have fun. But if you're a more experienced player, you're very consistent, you like your molds, you know their flights, you may end up wanting to pick up a few extra runs from your disc golf store if you end up finding a disc that flies exactly the way you want and feels exactly the way you want. And honestly, all disc golf manufacturers, they do struggle with consistency, but some more than others. We've heard a lot of good things, for instance, about MVP, a lot of players saying, you know, it feels exactly the same, it flies exactly the same. Whereas others talk about Innova, for instance, and they say they're just not that consistent. Definitely let us know your experience in the comments below. If you like this channel and you've been watching a lot of videos, it means so much if you just hit that subscribe and that like button. And if you want a little bit more, check out our Patreon. I know a lot of you are hesitant, but there's some great benefits that others are currently taking advantage of. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Merci beaucoup, et à bientôt.